Hi, the wizard here, and I heard you were wondering how to play Mysterious Monsters. Well, it's not as complicated as it seems. More or less. The basic idea is that it's a trivia game show, but with a role-playing game twist. You'll be competing against two other adventurers as you take on monsters, win gold, and buy items. Whoever has the most gold at the end, wins. Think of the monsters like categories. There's Movie Monster, which is all questions related to film, and there's Retro Rampager, which is all about older video games. I'll introduce you to all the monsters later. Each player takes a turn and chooses which monster they'd like to face. The idea is that you'll pick a monster that you think you could beat. So, for example, if you know a lot about movies, pick the Movie Monster. Once you've picked a monster, you'll see its remaining weak points. Each weak point represents a question, and each question is worth between 1 and 8, where 1 is easy, and 8 is as hard as they get. But wizard, I hear you say, I don't see any numbers here. Well, that's because they're all hidden unless you pay 10 gold to use the analyze action. That will reveal all the numbers to you, and you can make a more informed choice. There's an item you can buy that gives you analyze for free, but we'll get into that in a moment. Let's say you're feeling confident and you want to tackle a weak point that is worth 5. You just say which body part you are targeting, and then the question will appear. Our beautiful, wonderful, marvelous host, Michael Huber, will read you the question and you can give him your answer. If you get it right, you do damage to the monster. If you get it wrong, the monster deals damage to you. The damage corresponds to the value of the weak point you picked. So, if you picked one worth 5, you would do 5 damage, if you got it right, and suffer 5 points if you got it wrong. Let's say you got it right, though. The monster takes 5 damage, and you get 50 gold. The easy way to remember how much gold you'll get from a question is just to add a 0 behind it, also known as multiplying it by 10. So a 3 is worth 30, and 8 is worth 80. You get the idea. If a monster is defeated, anyone who got a question right against them gets a lucky loot drop. It's easy. You just walk over to the board and drop the ball and win something great. You'll get one ball drop per question you got right. Once three monsters are defeated or run away, the round is over. A monster runs away if all the questions are gone, but it still had hit points left. But be careful. Monsters aren't the only ones who can be defeated. If your hit points drop to zero, you will be charged half of all of your gold and I'll come out and revive you. Hey, I gotta feed my kids. The adventurer with the most gold at the end of the game wins. But you remember when I mentioned actions and items before? Well, here's where things get really fun and strategic. With your hard-earned gold, you can buy items and equipment that will hopefully help you stay alive and get you even more gold. The items and equipment introduce a lot of strategy to the game and work together in really interesting ways. Pieces of equipment are one of a kind, and once you buy it, you get it for the rest of the game, and no one else can get one. I'll run you through them right now, but don't worry, you'll have a handy reference sheet during the game. There's Huber's Hammer of Hype, which deals one extra point of damage and gives you 10 extra gold each time you get a question right. There's the Wolf's Pelt of Perception, which makes the Analyze action free. I mentioned that one before. There's the Cowl of Consistency, which rewards you for getting many answers correct in a row. Starting on your third correct answer, you will get 20 bonus gold for each correct answer here on out. There's the Cursed Amulet of the Three, which gives you triple the gold if you deal a killing blow to a monster. A normal killing blow gives you double gold, which is good, but triple gold is better. By, like, a lot. That's it for equipment, but there are also items you can buy to keep yourself alive and give yourself an edge. Keep in mind, supply might be limited. Lesser healing potions give you five hit points. Greater healing potions fully heal you. Double damage tokens do double damage and give you twice the gold, if you get the question right. You will take double damage if you get the question wrong, however. You can use these items at any time, on any target. I'll say that again. Any time, any target. Besides items and equipment, you also have two actions available to you on your turn. After you choose a monster and before you select a weak point, you can use the Analyze action to see the number values of all the weak points. Anytime you aren't sure on a question, you can enlist the help of one of your fellow adventurers by using the Uneasy Alliance action. They will suggest an answer. If you take their advice and get the question right, they also get the gold. But bear in mind, if you get it wrong, you get hurt, and they don't. So make sure you trust them. You can also disagree with their suggestion, and they won't see one red cent if you're right. 
Feel free to offer other adventurers an uneasy alliance if you see them struggling and you know the answer. Or if you see them struggling and you don't know the answer. Tee hee. There are three rounds in Mysterious Monsters. Two normal rounds and one final boss round. In the final boss round, turns go out the window and you will buzz in by smashing a box with an axe. Fastest person to buzz in gets a crack at the question, and if they're wrong, the others can buzz in again, so keep on your toes. Questions for the final round are pulled from all 14 possible monsters, even if they didn't appear in this episode. If the mixed up monstrosity is defeated, the boss will enter its final form, and you will be asked one final question. The answer to this question is always a number, and you'll have to smash your box the number of times you think is correct. Everyone will get different amounts of gold depending on how close they were to the right answer, so it's still anyone's game. Now, the adventurer with the most gold is crowned the winner, and they get to choose one prize from the wall of fabulous prizes to put in their complimentary Salmon Globe tote bag. One prize per winner only. Oh, I promised I'd introduce you to the monsters. Here we go. Movie Monster is Movie Questions. The Trickster is The Trickster. Retro Rampager is Retro Video Game Questions. Modern Miscreation is Modern Video Game Questions. The Games Industry is Questions About the Video Games Industry. Musical Miscreant is Music Questions. Horrible Historian is History Questions and Sometimes Geography. Scientific Slime is Science Questions. The Loquacious Locust is All About Vocabulary. Food Freako is About Food. More of a Sports Guy are Questions About Sports. Televampire is Television Questions. The Poison Tongue is all about notable quotes, the Techno Terror contains technology questions, and the Mixed Up Monstrosity is the final boss, a mashup of all the other monsters. And that's Mysterious Monsters. Thanks for watching, and good luck.